Hello everyone. Welcome to this video demonstration of soda bubble tracks. What we have here is a clear glass. Um, to do this, you're going to need a, a clear, transparent drinking glass, or I've had students try it in a graduated cylinder that works as well. You're also going to need a carbonated beverage, typically something like 7-Up um, or carbonated water works. Uh, just make sure that the beverage that you use is clear. I'm going to be using Sprite, actually, which works just as well. It helps if you let the bubbles settle just a little bit. So I'm gonna give it maybe a minute or so and let everything settle out a bit. Now you can see that it is clearly carbonated. A lot of the CO2 bubbles are being released quite rapidly from the liquid as it heats up. Now, the story behind this demonstration is that a group of scientists, physicists, were discussing how they might be able to observe particles indirectly. So, apparently, one of the scientist took some salt and put it into the carbonated beverage he was drinking to try to reduce the carbonation. And all of a sudden they noticed trails of bubbles that formed as the salt sank to the bottom of the glass. So what we're gonna do here is see if we can try to recreate that event and then make some connections uh, to how scientists might indirectly observe uh, particle trails um, in detectors. So I'm going to take a few salt crystals and drop them into the Sprite and I want you to make some observations um, of what happens. Okay, so as I drop salt crystals into the Sprite, you, it's very hard to see the salt crystals, but you can certainly see particle trails that indicate where the salt crystal has traveled. Sometimes this works a lot better if you, um, if you let the pop or carbonated water sit out just a little longer perhaps than I have. But I, but I think you get the idea here. Um, each time I drop in a few salt crystals, you can see particle trails being created um, along the path where the salt crystals fall. So once your students have made their observations, you can take an opportunity to have a discussion with them, perhaps around the following questions. How do we know where the salt crystals went? So ask your students, you know, what they observed that helped them make inferences about where the salt crystals traveled uh, in the glass. What might have caused the bubbles to form? So here's an opportunity to go deeper into the science and talk about carbonation. Um, 
What are some other examples of trails that you have seen in everyday life, such as bubbles that mark where something has been? So this is a good opportunity to have, to have them make connections between what they're seeing here and what they may have seen or observed already in the outside world. Using the bubbles, what could we learn about salt, the salt or the liquid, or what could we measure? So by observing those trails in the liquid, could we learn more about the salt crystals, perhaps the size of them? Could we learn something about the density of the liquid um, based on how the salt crystals travel? You can also take this as an opportunity to help students understand how scientists used earlier style bubble chamber detectors to help them learn about subatomic particles.